Hello. This is a quick response for Nolan, who last night on the Twitch stream uh, had a comment for me and was asking a question that I never got around to answering. I was distracted by a Sith Inquisitor in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and then I just forgot to respond. So so uh, you said, uh, I must admit, I don't know what you were talking about in your latest video on YouTube, that is. Uh, was it more history is written by the victors or a rose-tinted glasses kind of argument that you were making? And both of those do apply to the video that I was sort of rambling philosophically in a stream of consciousness about our relationship with history. In so much as, yeah, um, history is written by the victors as an editorialising process. We sort of collectively choose what's worth remembering and what, what we forget. And therefore, the historical narr narrative, a common story emerges. And absolutely, yeah, rose-tinted glasses, nostalgia connected with historical facts that we think we know about the past absolutely was part of what I was talking about. But it was a bit more nuanced than that, more, a bit more generalised, in so much as I really do think that we are living in a time where we tend to think of the past as a prop, as it were, um, as an accessory for our modern lives, whether it's a historical site that we go and visit or a, a, a way of, of, of adding to a, a current uh, familial or political or uh, uh, quiz, you know, trivia sort of argument about about something specific. The past is drawn on as as something that 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 helps us to prove a point, um, and more more often than not, a point that we are already uh, quite comfortable with. Whereas I think that actually the past should be seen as the resource that's being continually added to and that acts as the context for our lives today. As opposed to a backdrop, it is the, the wellspring from which our lives come, the meaning of our lives, but also the context of everything we say. As I say in that video, every declarative statement is rooted in the past. It's rooted in an idea that we've previously had. And I feel as though we... At the moment, in the current modern time, we tend to think of the past as having happened and been done, and we can preserve it in aspic, we can uh, list buildings, and it is inert. Whereas actually the past is very much connected to how we live, think, and talk every day. Hopefully this has been helpful, and I'll see you next time on Twitch. Cheers.